What is up everyone, my name is Exceptional and today I will show you the best settings for Pokemon Unite on the Nintendo Switch. Because trust me, there are some settings you need to change straight away. As you can see, if you just started, your screen will look a little different than mine. For example, I have the thing on the right and my health bar is a little bit different color than yours. And as you will see, if I do this, I have these little stripes, white and yellow stripes. So I will show you how you get those and what they do for you. Okay, let's get straight into it. First of all, all these settings are just for you so you have more control over the game and you can do better. In the system settings, there aren't a lot of things you need to switch. Most of them are just preference. I have it on high frame rate, that is a must, but I think it's already on high frame rate. Brightness and show trainer names, all not very important. Turn frame rate function off, it's just annoying, I think. Turn colorblind support on, it will adjust the colors a little bit and seeing the difference in between your teammates and the enemy will be a lot easier. The biggest changes are in the control settings. First of all, change this to lowest remaining HP value wise, not percentage. Value is a little bit better because if you do auto attacks, it will always target the one that's closest to dying. Percentage doesn't always mean that he's closest to dying and the lowest remaining HP value does. Second of all, this is the most important function you need to turn on change default controls into advanced controls and i'll tell you why it gives you an extra button to use we normally use a for auto attacking against enemies and wild pokemon as well and with advanced controls you will get a and b a will be primarily just for opposing pokemon and b for wild pokemon so you might think why should i do this okay think about it this way when you're fighting septos and it is a 5v5 and it's very hectic but septos is almost dead if you have default controls on and you just tap A, you will probably just attack the opposing Pokemon. But that's not what you want. You want to kill the Zapdos. So what you do is turn advanced control on and just tap B. You will ignore the opposing team and you will just attack the nearby wild Pokemon. And especially in ranked, if you just want to get like the little wild Pokemon for the extra XP, this option is so, so important for you. So definitely change this, turn automatic basic attacks off because sometimes when you're close to Dreadnought or Zapdos or Rotom, you don't want to auto attack them. So turn this off. This is the other important option, the boosted attack gauge. Turn this on. So whenever I attack a Pokemon, you see that white stripe, yellow stripe, and the yellow stripe means my boosted attack is ready. So the next is boosted. And every Pokemon has a different boosted attack uh, level. So some people, some Pokemon have like three attacks, four attacks, five attacks until it's boosted. So with Pikachu, it's the third attack. And so you know whenever you are ready for your boosted attack. You could turn on the lock on icon, that thing on the right. If there's multiple Pokemon with the right stick, you could choose whichever you want to attack. I personally do not use it that much, but I can see it being very useful for some people. So try try that and see if that works for you. Go to scoring controls and select press button. Uh, for me, it's very annoying if I want to dunk points. Keep holding, keep holding. Just click once, especially if you have like 50 points. It is just way faster and you don't have to hold it. Go to aim settings. Aim assist settings. I have it on sensitivity and I, I put everything a little bit lower so I could be a little more accurate. The higher it is, the harder it is to be very accurate with all your skill shots. So I would put it a little bit lower, but play around with that. See what's best for you. You can make this skill shot a little bit faster if you would like. So these are the best settings for Pokemon Unite. It might take you a little time to get used to all these new controls, especially the advanced button layout with A and B. But you will get used to it and in the end it will do wonders for you and you will become a better player. I hope you found this video helpful. A little side note, if you like this video, drop a like. It will help me out a lot. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And also, I'll be streaming on Twitch every day. I will play a lot of Pokemon Unite Ranked. So go check me out there and follow me and come chill and hang out and uh, let's have some fun. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.